Hi, my name is Young Sang-cho, the founder of Jadam and inventor of Jadam Ultra Low Cost Agriculture Technology. We are the most well-known organic agriculture solution provider in South Korea, including many other countries in the world. Before beginning of this introduction of Jadam, I would like to introduce who have influenced me the most. First, my father Han Gyu Cho, who found Korean natural farming in 1967. He is the man who tried very hard to put organic farming into mainstream during at that time. I've learned all the techniques of natural farming, poetry, and piggery from him, and later I decided to carry our family treasure to make my own path of Jadam's ultra low cost agriculture in early 1991. Now, my children are involved in this work. We are doing organic farming for three generations. My son and daughter does translation of my work, and the person narrating right now is Sang Woo Cho, son of Young Sang Cho. In the 1960s, the goal of Green Revolution was to end poverty and hunger of the world. But as a result, in present, more and more chemical pesticide and chemical fertilizers has become mandatory object to do farming, which have led us to this disaster of present. Our beautiful Mother Earth is now contaminated with all the leftover chemicals, and we are living in the world eating food that has left chemical pesticide residue in our body. So people came up with organic farming as solution. But there's few challenges that we have faced. Even now, farmers are struggling with given organic agriculture technology. And the technology that we learned so far is usually the research funded by the big corporation who benefit from the farmers. This had led farmers to be more dependent on expensive corporation products, which makes farmers to be consumer of corporation and lose their initiative of farming. Realistically speaking, farmers need easy and simple technology that is less dependent on expensive corporation farming inputs. Being independent from the finished product, farmers can be self-reliant to lead their own farming and still be able to earn more than what they have invested to produce. Just with philosophy and concept alone cannot make all the farmers to be attracted to organic farming because it is adventure with high risk for them. And to promote organic farming, I believe that we have to be armed with perfect technology that can solve all of these issues mentioned above. So I decided to invent organic agriculture technology that can benefit both farmers and consumers, and that is Jadam's ultra low cost agriculture. Our Jadam technology is very simple, affordable, and in the same time, it is very effective. It can be learned within a day. We teach farmers each and everything from soil management to natural pesticide. All of our methods and ingredients comply with the regulation of USDA organic. So with our Jadam technology, every farmer in the world can get organic certification. Moreover, this technology is not limited to just organic farmers. Our method is combinable with chemical pesticide as well, which makes easier for other conventional farmers to shift towards organic farming. Before going into detail, I would like to mention that our Jadam technology do not promote the use of sugar, molasses, vinegar, alcohol, and air bubbler to make our input. And the cost of input will be $100 per acre, which is 150 of the cost compared to conventional farming. It is easy and very effective technology. Jadam method can be applied in larger scale as well. Also, it offers high quality and high yield when it is well applied. Moreover, we do not patent our agriculture technology for farmers' greater good. So from now on, let me introduce you our core technologies that can change the agriculture of the world. First, I'll begin with soil management. Before doing farming, first thing we consider is the health of the soil. Because what is visible represents what is invisible. This means the health of the plant is first determined by the condition of the soil and its roots. But usual condition of our farmlands are like hard rock due to excessive use of heavy machineries which creates compacted layer of the soil and accumulation of chemical compost. Key to make soil fertile is by avoiding using heavy machines or limit the spots where heavy machine works and diversify the species of microbes in the soil. So to solve both of these problems, I have invented JMS, the Jada Microbial Solution. We explain soil management protocol should follow the same soil condition as leaf mold soil in the nearest mountain or the forest, and JMS can do it all to make that happen. This solution can be made very easily within one to two days period depending on the climate. And cost of manufacturing is nearly zero, but the effect is fascinating. 
Just irrigating or sprinkling on the surface of the soil at least four times before transplanting will show great results on soil and for the crop. All you need is large container of plastic bucket, sea salt for minerals, potato as feed, and leaf mold soil, the microbes container from the nearest forest or the mountain, and lastly, you will need water. You will need an air bubbler to make this solution and you do not need to fix certain temperature because 5 cm beneath the soil there is no air. Therefore, you'd want to cultivate microorganisms in anaerobic environment. And also, we do not recommend to set specific temperature for cultivation. For example, if you fix the temperature to 32 Celsius degree, then you are only going to cultivate microbes that only likes 32 Celsius degree. So if we really want to cultivate microbes that is optimized for the crop, then do we need to set it to 30 Celsius degree or match the temperature which crops are experiencing? Microbial cultivation should be done at room temperature. So if you want microorganism that is optimized for the greenhouse environment, then it should be cultivated inside the greenhouse that matches the temperature where crops are experiencing. And for an open field, it should be done in an open field. If you do, then you get the microorganism optimized for the crop in this simple way. So let me show you briefly how it's done. When temperature drops, I would recommend using electric heater to maintain more than 18 Celsius degree because microbes cannot be cultivated under that temperature. You can also make your own customized JMS with leftover produce from your farm. Using same crop would be much more beneficial than using potato. Reason why we use potato is because it simply works faster and has advantage of maintaining pH levels to 6.5. However, if you use sugar or molasses, then pH will drop 3.5, so I wouldn't recommend to use it. When bubbles are at the peak, it is wise to use it right away. There are many methods of making input for soil preparation, but those methods require presence of machines, expensive ingredients like sugar and molasses, and a lot of effort and time. Therefore, preparing organic input was one of the difficulties that we had. But with JMS, soil management can be solved very easily. Now, let's talk about Jadam's natural pesticide. When it comes to pesticide, people often don't like the concept of it. But if farmer wants to produce fruit that is high value with good shape to sell it to customer, they need to protect their produce from the pest. Because fruit tree will make its own fruit to be colorful and sweet to attract more pests and animals to spread their seed far away. Therefore, in order to obtain commercial fruit, we need to embrace the concept of pesticide. Technical difficulties of organic farming we found were the pest control. And among many reasons, pest control is one big reason why farmers give up their organic farming. Organic pesticides that are sold in the market usually shows very insignificant results. Organic certified farmers had nowhere to rely on when it comes to pest problems. And the price of the organic pesticide were usually way too expensive. Jadam's natural pesticide comes with three different solutions, JS, JWA, and JHS. With these three combinations, Jadam natural pesticide can become powerful enough to replace chemical pesticide. Moreover, it is also very safe for humans, so you don't need to wear a mask when you're spraying pesticide. So let's first begin with JS, the Jadam Sulfur. Utilizing sulfur in agriculture is known to be very common to treat diseases and viruses that can occur during farming because it has good fungicide properties. 
Melting sulfur to make water soluble to use it in agriculture was biggest challenge with only few tools and ingredients. And to do that, the people usually needed big equipment with fire. With many trials and fails, I was able to invent a new method to melt sulfur without external heating for the first time in the world. And to make ultra low cost agriculture go viral, I disclosed this technology without patenting it. So what you will need is 99.9% .9 pure sulfur, caustic soda, sea salt, phyllite powder, and red clay powder. And by combining all the ingredients with water can melt sulfur without using fire. And the cost of making one liter is only a dollar, which is very affordable price compared to ordinary finished product. One liter can be diluted in 500 liters of water for natural pesticide or as fungicide. So now let's take a quick look at the manufacturing process. The heat generated by the caustic soda melts the sulfur 100%. In this way, you can easily make natural disinfectant by yourself. We recommend farmers to make their own inputs because it is actually very easy to make one. Once you make your own pesticide and other farming inputs, you can save more than 95% of input cost. And Jadam natural pesticide and fungicide is powerful enough to replace synthetic chemical products. I personally advise farmers to be free themselves from expensive farming that relies on purchasing. By making own microbial solution to liquid fertilizer and pesticide, I believe that farmers can be self-reliant and become a leader of their own farming with given ultra-low-cost technology for the upcoming future agriculture. The purity of complete JS is about 25%, which is very high concentrated sulfur contents compared to the marketed products. Another feature is that it doesn't build resistant, even if it's sprayed often. Unique part of all is that it can also be mixed with chemical pesticide. It also means all the fungicide that you have used until now can be replaced with JS. And it does not rust steel pipe or damage the plastic mulching or the plastic used in greenhouse, which makes Jadam Sulfur even more special. With Jadam Sulfur, leaf fungus on tomato is also known to be difficult, but it can be controlled easily including leaf blight. Furthermore, it can also treat rice back in a disease, which is common problem for rice farming. Anthracnose caused on pepper is not a big deal as well. It's also very effective against pear black, red, and bacteria shot hole. Next, I'll move on to JWA, the Jadam wetting agent. When we spray any sort of pesticide to prevent or to control pests, there is one most important thing should be present to make synergistic effect of pesticide. And that is wetting agent, also known as surfactant. If you don't mix surfactant with any sort of pesticide, that solution will be useless, meaning it won't coat the plant. Spraying pesticide without wetting agent is like spraying water on taro leaves. The role of surfactant is very significant for both organic and conventional farming. We usually mix Jadam Herbage solution to amplify the natural pesticide properties, but JWA alone can control mite and aphid. Before making JWA, there is one important thing to keep in mind. The quality of the water plays significant role that can affect final result of finished JWA. 
The quality of water is not just important for organic farmers. Using hard water can leave a mark on the plant's leaf in any circumstances for conventional farmers as well. And this leftover mark can block photosynthesis of the plant over time and that will affect the growth of the plant. So to make JWA, it is very important to check the water quality. Making JWA is very easy. What you will need is 18 liters of canola oil, 3.2 kilograms of potassium hydroxide, and 82.5 liters of water. So now, let me show you how to make JWA. Cost of JWA per liter is $1, which is nothing compared to the products in the market. You can also use toxic herb extracted oil to make your own customized JWA. For example, if you use the oil that fried hot chili, that JWA will be spicy for you and for the pest as well. What is even more fascinating is that it can be decomposed in nature within 5 days, which synthetic wetting agents takes ages to decompose. The utilization of JWA doesn't stop here. Properties of JWA is like a soap. With this, instead of buying expensive natural soap, you can make your own liquid or solid bar type of soap. Plus, by making own natural soap, we all can reduce the contamination of our earth. Next, let me introduce JHS, the Jadam Herbal Solution. Many of organic farmers enjoy using herbal pesticide. So we try to find most suitable and powerful herbs that can be useful for pest control. The extraction method of herbs are very simple. We just simply boil the herb. Let me show you how.
make this herbal solution in advance so that you can use it right away when you need it. In case of South Korea, we have lots of ginkgo tree all around the country. And there was one amazing fact that we've never seen any pests on ginkgo trees. So we decided to make pesticide out of it. And by combining with JWA, it worked perfectly. There are many other herbs that are also very effective to use as pest solution. For example, Jerusalem artichoke, bracken, and Hollander. With the combination of JWA, JS, and JHS, you can make your own ultimate powerful all-in-one solution that can treat most of diseases and viruses, including pests without harming the plant and human. All of these can be sprayed right after planting and extend the intervals depending on the situation. And here are the recipes for each and every outcome that can be treated with Jada method. Pest treatment recipes for aphid, is the most destructive pest in temperate region. It is difficult subject among organic farmers. However, besides this fact, you can control 100% with the solution that we offer. Having confidence in controlling aphid means that we have achieved the complete basic solution of natural pesticide. In my book, Jadam Organic Farming, I have specified three separate stages. Prevention levels, infestation levels, and emergency levels. You can choose your step depending on your situation. All you need is the Jadam wetting agent and the Jadam herbal solution. For JHS, you can use herbal extracts such as ginkgo, bracken, and fern to mix with the solution. Moving on to the next problem is the mite. The size of the mite is extremely small. Because of its size, it is hard to recognize. Their reproduction systems are very fast. It will destroy the crop within very short time once it occurs. But surprisingly, solution is not much different. And the next pest is the moth. These powdery flying pests are well known for its destructive role of damaging pepper, tomato, paprika, and many other crops including the fruit trees. Although we have very simple single solution to all kinds of moths, this is also not much different from the other solution mentioned above. The combination of JWA and JHS. Next is the scale insect. By increasing the ratio of JWA and by adding sodium hydroxide, you can easily control scale insects. And if you add fine soil, the effect becomes even more powerful. You can check their dead bodies within 3 to 4 days after spraying the solution. Next pest is the mealybug. The most common pest in tropical region. The body of the pest is covered with the white fur and powder, which makes pesticide penetration difficult into the pest. And that is the reason why the fine soil takes important role in case of furry pest. It helps the pesticide to penetrate deeper and enable solution to last longer after spraying while increasing its control rate. Next is the greenhouse whitefly solution. The difficulties of this pest is that it builds up tolerance of the pesticide so quick causing farmers to lose their billions of dollars profit. Until now, there isn't any official pesticide that is recorded as treatment for this. However, simple Jadam solution can offer the best result for the greenhouse whitefly. As I mentioned before, Jadam natural pesticide do not build resistance on any pest, which enables farmers to use constantly without worrying about the pest getting tolerance to the pest solution. Key point of dealing with this pest is simply increasing the ratio of JWA. And next I'll move on to the slug and snail. They are intelligent when you spray pesticide, it will cover its skin with mucus to protect itself from any harm. But with JWA and sodium hydroxide can disable the mucus of the slug and snail. The small one dies within few seconds and the bigger one dies slowly after crawling around a bit. And next is the nuclear bomb of coffee tree. All the solution that coffee farmer had was just cutting off the tree when it occurs. But with the recipe that I invented to treat CBB were very simple. All we needed was JS, JWA, sodium hydroxide, and fine soil. Treating most difficult pests with such simple solution feels something ridiculously fantastic. With this exact recipe, you can also control fire ant and white ant as well. Next, I want to talk about all-purpose pesticide. As you can hear from the name, this is all-purpose natural pesticide that can control both pests and viruses in the same time. This is based on mixture of JS, JWA, and Ginkgo JHS. You may add fine soil and sodium hydroxide during emergency. This recipe can be used throughout the whole year. It will never build up any tolerance to any pest. And next is fungicide for powdery mildew. The disease shows small white powder spot on variety of crops all over the world, and it is usually appeared on the surface of the leaves. 
These diseases are among many reasons why farmers give up organic farming because there is not a proper organic fungicide available to treat powdery mildew. But don't feel lonely because it is also the same problem to conventional farmers as well. Combination of JWA and JS alone can perfectly control powdery mildew. Now let's move on to the downy mildew. This is the disease that causes leaves to turn yellow. This is also well known as difficult problem to treat even with chemical solutions. Downy mildew solution is also not much different from powdery mildew solution ratio. All you need is to increase a little bit of JS. Next is fungicide for gray mold. This disease causes serious damage on greenhouse cultivated crops. Gray molds are usually formed with thick layer of fungus on the surface of the fruit, which makes solution to be harder to penetrate. But just by increasing the amount of JWA, the penetration ability of the solution will increase. Next one is the anthracnose. There is not a single fungicide that can treat or stop this disease. It is known to cause by the rain splashing on the crop. Once it occurs, spreading the radius is about 4.5 meters a day. Anthracnose is known as unstoppable virus carrying train. However, Jada method can be great solution to this problem. Here is a thing that has to be done carefully. It is mandatory to apply solution within 10 hours after rain. And during emergency, it is required to spray with one day interval maximum of three days to avoid any serious damage. Only other experts would recommend to trim off the diseased fruit to prevent further infection. But with Jadam natural pesticide, it is not so necessary. It is possible because it works even without trimming the damaged ones. The virus will stop spreading once it is sprayed a couple of times. Next is the wool disease. I believe these diseases are caused because of lack of root promotion. And believe it or not, most of crops that are attacked by the wool disease have a weaker roots. Once you pull the plant out from the ground, you can definitely check it. You might find the answer difficult, but solution is rather very simple. Just irrigate or sprinkle JMS before transplanting. It is important to irrigate thoroughly deep enough to wet the ground to one meter below at least four times before planting. Once you start to make your own input, you can reduce 150 of the cost compared to conventional farming. After all these inventions, I have published Jadam Organic Farming book which elaborated our technologies in much more detail. It is translated in Mandarin for both traditional and simplified, Spanish, Japanese, English, which all of them are now most top-selling book in Amazon.com. And here is the book 100 Herbs, which introduced 100 different kind of wild herbs which can be used as natural pesticide. We spent over the past 30 years to establish this methodology. Tens of thousands of Korean member farmers are practicing this method. And we can run this organization for this long time is because we had their support and donation. You can cultivate your own microbial input, which is extremely important in organic farming. You can go self-sufficient in liquid fertilizer with no cost, just by using water and leaf mold soil. Organic farming cannot be spread through campaigns and education. Solution is simple. Only when farmers realize that organic farming is less costly and easier, only then organic farming can spread faster. Current system of expensive organic farming present no future for farmers. And Jadam made big breakthrough to overcome that obstacle in natural pesticide. We must try to become independent from agricultural monopoly that large corporation has created. And all the farmers must take the initiative in agriculture technology. So let's make a revolutionary change in agriculture with Jadam. Organic farming for farmers and by farmers will save the planet and humans. Let's go all together to open up the new world of organic agriculture. Thank you.